Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Cockerel Gang. You're probably asking yourself, what the fuck is a Cockerel? That's a Chinese rooster, or a cock. This board features Cockerel's flat camber, which is camber 2.0, so it's flat through the middle, then it kicks down to the contact points. So you have a board that's easier to load to get your snap and pop and drive out of. This board is available in four sizes, 149, 152, 155, and 158. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a perfectly bluebird day with zero wind, warmer temps, and perfect corduroy with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. It's a true twin park flex, which means Softer tips, stiffening up about midway to the insert packs, then stiffer through to the middle where it softens up and there's some torsional flex to it. This board is highly lively, which means you feel everything in it. Everything. You're going to deal with it. Chatter out in the tip and the tail, that's gonna resonate back underfoot. You get into rutted out terrain, this board's gonna fight you to bend with every contour and as such, you're going to feel it. Now, it doesn't wash out in really rutted out terrain, but it does fight you. This board has snap. So you got the camber profile and all the innards in there, and that lets this board pop. You got a sweet spot in the nose and the tail to engage, to pop out of. You do have to load up the camber profile with this board, so you gotta be a little calculated with it, but when you do, it's gonna pop. This board is fully at home on jumps, like, just about any size jump you wanna hit with it, it's gonna snap, it's gonna pop. This is a board that just really wants to be in the air. There's a lot of rebound when you load it up. You're gonna notice that right away, whether you're popping off a lip or popping off a roller. When it comes to buttering, speed is your friend. The sweet spot to lock it into presses is very small and right out at the upkick of the nose and tail. Obviously, with that up kick, if you do get out way on it, you can wheelie or like nose wheelie with it. But by and large, this is a board you wanna make sure your weight is out over. You're really gonna press into it. It's gonna fight you. There's a lot of fight in this board, but if you know what you're doing, you can manhandle it. Now, when it comes to jibbing, obviously you gotta be a little more calculated. You wanna hit those sweet spots to lock into nose and tail presses. And when you get sideways on a feature, this board doesn't like fully cradle it. It just sort of slides along. It's balancing it on there. You're gonna notice that it's on one of those boards that really hugs the feature. And once again, speed is your friend and you wanna have moderate to fast speed when you hit any feature with this. This board is quick edge to edge, it's very nimble. You're gonna notice that it just transitions very smoothly and effortlessly from toe to heel, toe to heel. Now, if you're one of those guys that likes to really aggressively carve on your park boards, you can overpower the tail of this board when you're driving through it. It happened to me on more than one occasion, especially on the heel edge, I just noticed that it would wash out. With that said, can you deep carve with this board? Yes, but there are limitations. So you have to know where the sweet spot is and how to optimally flex it so you don't overpower it and end up washing out. I'd say its strong suit is tight, quick setup turns or medium park carves. Who's this board for? The park rider that likes snap. The big thing I want you guys to notice about this board is that this is a Nitro Cheap Thrills. Shape, camber profile, flex, everything. It's a Nitro Cheap Thrills. Cockerel doesn't design their own shit. They just borrowed it from Nitro. More than likely illegally. This board has snap, which I like, but it's a Nitro Cheap Thrills. I'd rather buy a Nitro. And that's where I'm gonna leave it on this review. Comparable boards. The Rome Buckshot. The Yes Jackpot. The Outsiders by Capita. This has been my review of The Gang by Cockerel. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? I doubt you're gonna buy one. You probably never even heard of this brand. Anyways, if you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. If you'd really like to support us, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.